What do you do when your Hoover turbo power sounds awful, has both motor bearings completely seized and isn't shiny? You polish it, refurbish it and make it work literally like new. Let's have a look at how this one came out. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? This is the second video on this that I have recorded. Because the first one, I accidentally wiped my SD card oh, before I got round to dumping off the footage. Very annoying actually, because I went into a bit more detail on this. We fixed the uh, auto flex. We retentioned that. I'm not doing that again today. So I shall make a video just on the auto flex because I do have another one that needs its cable replacing. So we can do that. But we can look at the art of this. Now I have bought along some brochures obviously in the before video I got a little bit wrong with the what's the word on the generations of turbo power yes because it wasn't the glass one first no it was and I've got one of these that was the first core lineup of Hoover Turbo Power, the U2194 I have one of those you've seen that on my channel I haven't got it down for this one the one sat just behind us, U2198, and then the U1100 Junior. I've just sold one of those. It's gone to another collector, which is always nice to do. So that was the first generation. Then, what do we have here? This is the second, which has the introduction of the U2332, that we all know and love, and the glass turbo power and the U1220 Junior, all these are on my blog, so if you want to have a proper look at them, do feel free. So yes, I, I got that a little bit wrong. I thought the U2332 was one of the originals, but it's not. So there we go, and then the third one here, since it's out, it's a bit odd actually how Photoshop this is, because that looks like it's got red bellows. I don't think it had. This is also the first range, so the red, blue, and beige power pluses, power plus with dust cup. I'll be having a power plus, who knows? The first generation of Sensitronics with the old style kinetic head. I used a kinetic head recently, Mr. AG123 has one, and <laughs> actually really nice. Do like those, and they're compacts, compacty compacts. And then the Power Glide, the Last Freedom, although well, they're basically the same machine. I use one of those actually, they're an odd cleaner. You, you, you wouldn't have one over a compact, no chance. And then the Port of Power, and the Dust Net, and the Wet and Dry Super Vac. So, yes, there we go. There, then we've got, yeah, the, the, so three turbo powers on this range before they went wild and did everything with them. But enough looking at the library. We want to have a look at the machine and it has come up ever so, ever so well. It polished up a treat, reacted really, really well. So now, although it's still got some damage, I'm not gonna lie, you can see a bit there, is it now has its shine. This is sat under the coat of black light, which is a glaze then a coat of, no sorry, black hole which is a glaze, then black light which is a hybrid finish and then two coats of dodo juice blue velvet wax for those of you who like to go over the top as I do with your cleaners. That's put a different finish on it now. Me doing this, I'm rubbing the glaze and the wax, I'm not rubbing the plastic. Again, so it works really, really well. 
up the top and I found this out actually the other day so it's probably a good job I am refilming this because I did mention this this has a black handle it should have a blue I wasn't too sure when I noticed it was black I thought it was just one of those things like the red and black turbo power that came in the mid 1990s this has got the wrong handle on it so the owner, Mr. Richie, you know, most of you probably know Richie de la Tour, needs to find a new blue handle. But this does the job absolutely fine. Inside we have HEPA flowed it. It has a nice pneumatic HEPA flow and the bag slide from the old paper bag. That's just in there because of that. There is a bit of masking tape here. I explained all that in the old video, but I don't think if I can rescue any of the footage because it's currently being recovered and it has found files, but the one I tried, the audio wasn't very good. I'll explain another day because I'm not going to edit that back into this, but basically that is holding because I need to glue it the cord reel into the case. It's such a stupid design, but we'll cover that in its own video, I think, because I'm not intentioning all this now. That, that, that took me two days of filming to do, hence why I'm quite annoyed. But these go back, it's Friday today, these go back tomorrow, which is going to pick them up, so I've got to do something, otherwise we'll never see them again. So yeah, look forward to an Autoflex How To, because they are ever so, ever so simple, just like me. But what I can show you, is that it works very well. Pull, pull, pull. You gotta pull up, you can't pull out, otherwise it doesn't work. Obviously it's supposed to be standing up. Nothing wrong with that now. I shall show you all at a later date. Let's have a look down the bottom, which again is very nice and shiny. The bellows are cleaned. If we turn it over, oh, I try not to scuff it around too much. We can see it's brown under carrots because obviously the earlier ones had brown. It's dirt from the last video. The agitator activator, even though it's not a genuine one, it is not a genuine brush roll. It is very good condition, so that's fine. Brand new old stock, genuine Hoover belt, brand new old stock, genuine Hoover bulb fitted. It's very good, really. Very good indeed. So, it looks a million, billion, trillion, gazillion dollars better. Does it work anymore though? Well, let's turn it on and find out. Now, you remember what this sounded like before with its two pretty much utterly, completely seized motor bearings. that smooth have a listen now Absolutely spot on. There is that is working perfectly now with its brand new belt and brush roll and new bearings all round. New brush roll bearings and new motor bearings. They really do make these old things work like new, regardless of how shiny it is. You can make it do that obviously without polishing it completely. Let's put some dirt down or oh, some mad about mess at least. completely clean sweep which is amazing really does work well it doesn't seem to lift up the carpet as much though as I thought it might whether that's just the design of them 
and you know they stop worrying about those. The older ranges, if you remember that Hoover convertible U4003, that really lifted up. This doesn't seem to be doing it as much. <laughs> It does, but it lets it go quite a lot easier. But not too worried about that because 99% of the time it's going to be on the mode that they always are, which is number two, and that seems to clean everything really. This is going to clean everything really well from now on. And we can actually have a quick look at the Hoover upright range step over here throughout the years because I happen to have one from four decades with me. We have from the 1960s the 1334A, I think this is, yep, yeah, 1334A. From the 1970s, we have the Hoover Convertible U4003. From the 1980s, this obviously. And from the 1990s, this Hoover Pure Power. And obviously out of all of them, the Pure Power is the more knackered. It won't even stand itself up. If you're wondering why this won't stand up now, when you've already seen the after video, I've filmed with this before I've refurbished it. So yeah, basically four generations of Hoover, I don't have the older ones with me because I could probably do one from the 50s, from the 40s, <laughs> from the 30s, but I, I wasn't that planned really. I just thought, oh, we could do one of these. So, yes, in fact, if we take this one and this one away, I wish I had the third one still, the third one's at home, but this is Mr. Richie's all done coming tomorrow so they can go back and I can say farewell and move on so there we go thank you very much for watching I doubt I'll ever own one of these unless I just pick one up very luckily from Facebook or the car boot because they are very very rare now because they're the first generation that didn't survive very well if one of these, but if one of those went on eBay, who knows how much it would go for? So it's a privilege to have seen one in the flesh, and to use one, and to show you all one. It's time for it to go home, and I don't have to bother about finding anywhere to put it, which is always nice. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next exciting instalment of utter misery from me, I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.